Lift up your two hands again and say, Lord, I worship you. I give you all the glory for bringing me to the new month of February. Let's appreciate him for the season of outpouring. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, as we continue with the remaining part of the service, go with us in Jesus' name Amen. and bless us, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. I don't like the way we are sounding. Go ahead and shout a powerful hallelujah. Before you take your seat, turn to your right or to your left, shake hands with your neighbors and tell them welcome to the new month of February. After that, we may please be seated. Amen. I'm reading 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. 1 Kings 17, 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto him, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain before, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. When you experience outpouring of the power of the Holy Spirit, when the Almighty God pour out His Spirit upon you, several things will begin to happen. I pray that this month you will experience the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your two hands and say, This month of February, I can't hear you. Some of us are not raising our hands. Raise up your two hands and say, This month of February, I will experience the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. When this power comes upon you, several things will begin to happen. Number one, you will be able to fulfill your destiny. When you look at this verse, Elijah was a nobody. The Bible tells us that if the if we are talking about someone who is important, Bible will mention his name and mention the name of his father. For example, when the Bible was talking about Isaiah, the Bible says, Isaiah the son of Amos, Ezekiel the son of Busai, Jonah the son of Amittai. But in case of Elijah, because he was a nobody, the Bible only said, and Elijah the Tishbite. But when the Spirit of God came upon him, he became somebody. He fulfilled his destiny. He was one of the notable prophets in the land of Israel. I prophesy, as from this month, you will begin to fulfill your destiny. <laughs> Lift up your two hands and say, I will fulfill the purpose of God for my life. Number two, when this power comes upon you, your word will be empowered. Whatever that comes out of your mouth will become a law. Elijah just stood up and said, There will be no rain nor dews for three and a half years. And it came to pass according to his word. If you read the Bible, the Bible says, Elijah said, According to my word. When this power comes upon you, whatever you say becomes power. As from today, anything that comes out of your mouth will never fall into the ground. <laughs> Touch your mouth and say, my mouth is empowered. If you believe me, go ahead and prophesy about yourself and say, this month of February, it shall be well with me, it shall be well with my spouse, it shall be well with my children. When this power comes upon you, you will begin to heal. It will empower you to do what? To heal. You will remember the story when Elisha was with the widow of Sarephah. After some times, the son of the widow died. And the widow told Elijah, God has brought you here to bring my sin to remembrance. But because Elijah was empowered, he laid himself upon that boy and the boy came back to life. 
as from today whenever you touch the sick they shall be healed maybe you don't believe me you better say amen you will be carrier of healing in the name of Jesus when this power comes upon you your enemies will compulsorily bow Elijah was on the mountain and the king sent 50 soldiers to go and arrest him and the head of the soldier got there and said MOG you are under arrest Elijah said you are talking to me like that a carrier of the Holy Spirit if I were to be a man of God roast immediately all of them became roasted I decree this month of February all your enemies will roast Please do your hand like this and say, All my enemies, say it loud and clear. I decree, rust. Say it loud and say, Rust. The second set of soldiers came. Elijah also said, Rust and became roasted. When the third world came, he prostrated and said, My daddy, please, I wouldn't have come to you if not because of my official assignment. Uh, he was begging Elijah. It was at that point that Elijah had mercy on me. But this month, no mercy for your enemy. Any enemy that stands on your way shall be roasted. Say it again, my enemies roast. Say it again, say my enemies roast. If you have this power, you have become, you will become a successful soul winner. I'm trusting God that when next you are coming to the church, people will follow you. It was Elijah who won Elisha. He threw his mantle upon Elisha and Elisha began to follow him. I pray as from today, you become a successful soul winner. I can't hear you. Let me conclude by saying, when this power comes upon you, when you are overflow, when you have this at pony, every short door will open. Elijah got to the bank of Jordan. He smote the river and immediately the river Jordan opened. Every door you knock, this month of February, I decree, it shall be open unto you. Do you know that because of this power, Elijah never tasted death. He went with wild wind to heaven. God can break protocol for you. The kind, what nobody has ever experienced in your family, you will experience it. Come on, shout hallelujah. As from today, you are going to live in the realm of overflow. The power of God will overflow in your life. Even as you are sitting, lift up your two hands and say, Father, say, my Father, my Father, release your power upon me. As from today, make me a Holy Ghost carrier. In Jesus' name we pray. I believe that this month, the power of God will be demonstrated in your life. I have done that short summary to bless those who are not here and for those who are here to receive second dose. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Tell him, oh, I am loaded. Say it with, with, with arrogance. The way I'm saying, say, I am loaded. If you touch me negatively, uh, the, the result is electrocution. If anybody touches you negatively this morning, immediately the fellow will roast. But if he touches you positively, healings will flow into him. Breakthrough will flow into him. Say, I am loaded. Say it loud and clear. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.